Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Twitch or T Scored, and today I'm bringing you guys a multiple gun MOAB playing 6v6 TDM on the map Lockdown. I used five different weapons in total, so I picked them up off the ground and get some kills with them. And I actually need to ask you guys something about this gameplay here. So the thing is, in this game, I started out one and zero. I got a kill, and then I died, and then I end the game 24 and one with two assists so one assist counts as kill so pretty much I end up getting 23 gun kills this life right here and then I get one assist counts as kill which would be a 24 gun streak that would be a MOAB no problem but the thing is uh, the final kill was actually the final kill cam so the MOAB doesn't actually pop up on the screen so I don't know if that counts as a MOAB or not I mean it's still a 24 gun streak it's just that the final kill was the MOAB and if you're playing something like domination or kill confirmed that wouldn't be able to happen because you would get the kill and the MOAB would pop up before the game ended. But since Team Deathmatch is a kill limit thing instead of a time limit thing, um, the MOAB didn't pop up because my final kill was the MOAB kill. So, I want to ask you guys if you guys still think it counts as MOAB. In my opinion, it still counts totally just like normal. It's still a 24 gun streak. That's the definition of a MOAB. So, even though the MOAB icon doesn't actually appear on the screen, I still think it's MOAB. So either way though, it's still 24 and 1. It's still a 24 KD gameplay. So whether you guys think it's a MOAB or not, it's still a pretty impressive gameplay. And it's pretty diverse because I use like five different guns. I pick up a few unsilenced weapons. Some of them are ACOG. Some of them are um, I pick up like a small. I actually don't get a kill with it, but I at least attempt to. And then I just use some other weapons, and uh, I really love picking up random weapons. I always call these my uh, multiple gun MOABs or my scavenger MOABs. I just pick up any other weapon off the ground and get some kills with it. I think they're really fun to go for, guys. In the order of the weapons I use in this game here, where I started out with my MP7, and then I picked up an M4A1 ACOG. I think I only got like one kill with that. And then I picked up that SMA a little bit ago and I failed. I didn't even get a kill with it, but I at least tried just for fun. And then I used my MP9 secondary and get some kills with that. And then eventually I pick up an AK-47 red dot sight. I think it was unsilenced. And then I pick up a PP-90 red dot sight. And pretty much for the majority of this streak, I get a lot of the kills with the AK-47 and the PP-90. So uh, I just thought it was pretty impressive that I used like five different guns and try to mix up the kills as much as possible I got like the first you know like seven kills or so I pretty much just got to specialist bonus with my mp7 and then after that I pick up this ak-47 right here I get a few kills with that then I pick up the uh, pp90 towards the end so hopefully you guys enjoy this gameplay my beginning class was the mp7 with silencer and extended mags and then scavenger hardline and marksman and then my specialist perks were sleight of hand, stalker, and quick draw. But the thing is, my starting class really doesn't matter except for the perks because obviously I only get a few kills with my starting weapon. And then I pick up another one, guys. And my topic for today, guys, is uh, Call of Duty map ideas. And if you guys want me to do any more of these, I'll definitely do some more if I have some more ideas for them. Just let me know in the comment section below if you guys would like me to do some more. So pretty much, I'm going to be giving you guys some Call of Duty map ideas that I have. So... Map ideas that I would like to be in Call of Duty that probably will never be, but just some ideas that I think would be cool. So my first idea is uh, a Call of Duty map that would be inside someone's house. So in Nuketown and maps like that, there's houses that you can kind of go inside, but I want to see a map where you can go inside of different rooms, like a bathroom or like a bedroom, and just play around inside someone's house. I think it would be fun to have like a, a small scale version house and just play around inside of the house. I think that would be a really fun map to play. And uh, I also want to see a forest map, so kind of like real life, a real life type forest where it's kind of more like battlefield, you know, like a real forest, not like jungle in Black Ops 1. I want to see like a real forest map that's kind of lifelike and something like that. I think that would be really fun as well. I want to see it to have like interactive environments like uh, trees that you can, you know, prone behind or use cover for. I just think a forest map would be fun. I also want to see a map that's like a car dealership. Like, all uh, different types of cars, and I, I, would want, I would want it to be, like, colorful and have, you know, some realistic cars, and I want it to look kind of nice. I think a car dealership map would be really fun to play, and you could use all the cars for cover, and it would just be fun if there was just cars all over the place. I think that would be really fun. And another idea I have is kind of like a shopping mall. Um, it would be kind of like a mixture of Arcaden and Terminal mixed together to make, like, a real-life mall. You could go in all the different stores, though. I think that would be really fun. And uh, I'll try to do another Call of Duty Maps idea some other time, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Let me know an idea you guys have so I can uh, maybe talk about that in another video. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.